Hey everybody and welcome to Shadow of War. God, I'm so excited about this. I've been waiting so long for this. I played the first game, Shadow of Mordor, and that was phenomenal. It was awesome. So when I heard they were making a sequel and all the stuff they were adding to it, oh my god, I lost my mind. So, uh, one quick thing. Uh, you're gonna see that like I had to override a file real quick. That was because I was playing it and there was no sound. So I had to restart. So yeah, that's why. But here we go. Let's get into this, shall we? Yes, delete the save game. Come on, let's get into this. I've been waiting forever. I had a family once. A wife. This is beautiful. And a son. And I buried them along with everyone I even knew. <laughs> what has happened to me? Am I dead? Who are you, Wraith? I shaped the history of Middle-earth. I crafted the rings of power. Kalibrimbor, greatest myth of the Second Age. Sauron deceived you into making the rings. He tortured both you and your king. Died with my family. I thought you wanted revenge. But there is only one way to close the circle to defeat Sauron. The time has come for a new ring. The world of men. Is ending. I have seen it. I have felt it. In the fires of Mount Doom, a ranger and a wraith, bound together in death, craft the one thing that could challenge the dark world. A ring. who seek it, and even the strongest bonds can be broken. The future I have seen cannot come to pass. Calibrimbo! Death calls to you again, Ranger. How do you answer? Where did you find it? Oh, I still have a few friends left in Gondor. What's wrong, my love? The past is the past. Nothing can be changed. We must leave this place. We can go. What's in the rings? I know what it is.
The Wraith calls to you. I call to you. Wraith! Okay, there we go. I don't like talking during cutscenes. So, a little backstory. If the video wasn't enough for you, this guy right here, Talion, was a ranger at the Black Gate. And the ranger at the Black Gate are kind of like the Night's Watch in Game of Thrones, where it's guys who Gondor doesn't know what to do with. It's like, oh, what do we do? Let's ship them off to Mordor so they can guard nothing because everyone thought Sauron was defeated forever, but he came back. Uh, Talion, along with his wife and son, got killed there in a blood sacrifice to summon the Wraith, Kellen Brimbor, who was the guy who made the basic math here, 9, 7, 16 other rings of power for the dwarves and men with Sauron. The Italian and his family got killed to summon Kellen Brimbor. Kellen Brimbor got uh, connected with Talion. So Kellen Brimbor inadvertently kept Talion from dying from then on out. So that's why he's all on the ground. Got captured by whatever that black mist was. Uh, what else happened in the first game? Kelm Brimbor and Talion go throughout Mordor, beating up bad guys and orcs and stuff, and eventually they come to the Black Hand of Sauron, who was the guy that was doing the blood sacrifice to summon Kelm Brimbor. Uh, they beat Black Hand of Sauron, who was also Sauron, or connected with Sauron, I'm not sure, but long story short, they fought Sauron. And then after they sort of beat him, they came up with the idea of, oh, let's make a new ring of power to challenge Sauron. And that's what you saw them making at the very beginning of the game. Here for a reason. I called you here. You will return him to me now. <laughs> you are brave for a man, but it is not your sword that will save him. How much are you willing to sacrifice? To suffer. To suffer. I have given up everything. Not everything. Not yet. You want the ring? You would give me the ring? 
for the rain. And find myself beside him in your web. I am Sheol, and I deal only in truth. I wouldn't give it up either. Wait. Time now! something to you. Go to your puppet before he dies. Is not here. Yeah, that was just so stupid. You just gave her the one thing that could challenge Sauron himself, and then your bright idea is to try to run at her with a sword. Look to the Palantir. Sauron will not stop until all of Middle Earth is dominated. Space, please. The Palantir must be protected. know if she loves vision holds true so we're going to Minas Ethan to try to save the Palantir huh okay spoiler alert for those of you who know Lord of the Rings and know the Tolkien story, Minas Ethil eventually turns into Minas Morgul, the headquarters for the Nazgul. So, uh... Yeah, I think everything that we're about to do is going to be useless in the long run. The spider showed us the truth. Gondor's last fortress in Mordor cannot fall. Palantir is our concern. We must seize it before it falls into Sauron's hands. With it, his armies will be unstoppable. The fate of the city matters not. I will not let them be slaughtered like my brothers at the Black Gate. We need to do something. Taking out the captain should buy the Gondorians some time. And they could lead us to the Palantir. We must find a worm and make him talk.
there. His mind is weak. Who needs the search for the Palantir? City. Then he will go no further. Doesn't look good for the Gondorians. We have to help. The Palantir is a powerful artifact. If we were to possess it, we could turn the tide. See if we can find this captain. Talk about there he is. Days by stealth. Secure the seeing stone. It's blue. It's round. 
and it's ours. This is a powerful artifact, lads. You bring it to me, but do not touch it unless you want your brain scrambled. Man, they did a lot of work with the city building here. there. Hit the face! So unlike the first game where you were stuck with just one sword and that's it. Man, that's really cool. You get to choose. You can find different weapons and stuff and they'll have different designs. That's sweet. Why are you out here alone? My raiding party was trapped in the lower city overnight. How many of you were there? Not enough. Inesithal still stands. We're about to lose the middle city, Ranger. They'll be closing the gate if they haven't already. We need to get up there as fast as we can. We'll be right behind you. Wait. What is your name? Idril. Talion. Don't fall behind, Talion. We've lost enough men today. Aren't you a little young to be on a battlefield? Where's your dad? Do you hear that, Ranger? They're closing the gate. Then let's cut a path up there. Sergeant Tarandor's going to need our help. Let's move. We will bury you all. We thought we were dead. Okay. Well, I Good for weeks. Jump in from behind! 
Because in the first game you were inside Mordor, just a little bit outside the Black Gate, and then you went further into Mordor to this place called Nern, and, and you could really see the difference between like the few man-made structures compared to what the orcs made themselves. And this is like absolutely phenomenal compared to all that in the first game. Okay, cool. Huh. That's cool. They changed them slightly, but they're still basically the same thing. Wait. They're sealing the gate! Move out! Move out! Illithids are, uh, for those of you who might not know, they are words in the Elven language written in this really cool Faster, Ranger! font or style, I guess you could say, called Moon Runes, which you're only able to see them at certain times under certain lighting, specifically. Duh. Moonlight. You die! The archers provide support. Guy with the eye patch is just like, yeah, he'll be okay. City's under attack, but you can do it. Can't save the sea, and awesome. We've lost the middle city. We made them pay for every inch of ground, but they now hold it. Then our fate will be decided here. Our inner wall is our strongest, and we have double their archer. We cannot match the orcs for their numbers or ferocity. Now, our people have held back Sauron's forces before. But some things were lost forever. Yes, of course they were. Go to the Great Hall. Secure the relics. My place is here. And make sure they are taken to Hanathanon. Is that an order? We must understand. We must protect what is most precious at, at all, all costs. Yes. That is an order. Then I'll see it done. But I'll be back on the wall before the next assault. I'm calling it right now. That guy is her dad. A ranger from the Black it. Gates. Just watch. I heard you were all dead. You heard the truth. 
If you've come to fight for Minas Ethel, Ranger, the positions, report to Captain Baron. Not come to join your army, General. But for the Palantir and its safekeeping. Protect the city, and the Palantir will be safe. However, our raiding parties are targeting enemy captains in the lower city. You wish to spread terror in their ranks? Yes. It's about time they tasted fear. The men are assembled, you gentlemen. Ah, oh, you know what? I just realized something. The general is Hiragon from the first game. Huh. That's pretty cool. Hiragon was this character that Talion knew back in the first game. He was the leader of the outcasts who were a group of men living inside Wardor trying to survive against the orcs. That's kind of cool. They led him back for the second game. I don't know. We need to secure the Palantir the now. I will look the city up is weak and it will who not the voice actor's name is. But we cannot leave the Gondorians to their fate. Castamir is right. By protecting the city, we protect the Palantir. Look. The towers bear his mark. Those were my towers once. Now Sauron's corruption spreads beyond the borders of Mordor. He mocks me. They give him sight. Not without the Palantir. Let's see, it's Travis Willingham. What else has he done? Oh, he's Harvey Dent in the Batman Telltale games. Sweet. I thought I recognized his voice from somewhere else. dismantle his hold on Minas Ethel. We will shift the tide of war. Now, let's get rid of this mini eye of Saffron, shall we? I don't like it staring at me. It's giving me a weird look. These Hydea are but dark imitations of the Palantir. But we can turn Sauron's low craft against him. These towers can give us sight. We will purify them and make them ours. So it I seems like these Hydar towers are going to serve the same function yeah, as... All that has been lost. As what were they called? Uh, uh, the Forge Towers back in the first game, which were... Oh, this is new. Uh, yeah, where was I? Forge Towers, uh, you could fast travel and they were like safe places in the first game, but this is really new and cool. I get to look around and have a bird's eye view of the city. And find stuff? Colder, warmer, warmer, warmer. There we go. of my kingdom, yet some things remain. Those are my barrows, still hidden from Sauron's sight. There I will show you why we must retrieve my ring.
are upon you. Wizened eyes that have seen much and would see much more. A mighty tower rises over Mordor, but at the foot of the Mountains of Mist, on the edges of an ancient forest, another tower looms. Through me, its master will learn of the Dark Lord and the Ranger who presumes to challenge him. That is awesome. He was talking about Saruman. Okay, so it seems like right now. Yeah, okay, so obviously Saruman is evil. I'm not sure if he's made his evil known to the rest of the world. Yeah. Saruman is a wizard in Lord of the Rings universe who is the head of the White Council. And. Those guys are basically like the oldest, most wisest good guys in all of Middle-earth. There's Saruman on there, the wizard, the white wizard. There's Gandalf the Grey, another wizard. There's Lord Elrond of Rivendell, one of the elf lords in Middle-earth. And then there's Lady Galadriel, who is also an elf lord, but she lives in the forest of Lothlorien. <laughs> That's really cool that they threw that guy in there. So it looks like Saruman is consolidating his evil schemes. So building up his right. He can reveal to everyone that surprise, I'm evil. Real quick, see what this guy does. this here mission over here real quick so find out what these barrows are all about I can show you how to conquer Mordor as long as it keeps Gondor safe I recognize this place I fought here ages ago seems quiet enough Oh yeah, did I mention that in the first game, Kellum Brimbor was the guy who helped Sauron perfect the One Ring, the ring meant for Sauron himself. In the first game, he was the one that inscribed the elvish writing on the out outer band of the ring, and then he stole it from Sauron for a time, used its power against him to build an orc army. When Sauron revealed his betrayal, I took up arms against him. In, in the book, Sauron wrote the Elvish script on there himself as a reminder to himself that he hated the Elves. He absolutely despised them. Men 
more easy to drop uh, dwarves had to kept to themselves. There was the elves. Yeah, I thought I said elves kept kept to themselves. Dwarves kept to themselves. Elves Alan, couldn't really corrupt at all. They were his biggest challenge. And El Trebora, obviously, in the first time, was the biggest of them. And that seems to be a good place to stop for now, so I will see you guys later in this adventure called Shadow of War. Later! <laughs>